guys and welcome back to Magical Budgets. It is Amanda and I'm here with a long-awaited debt update. Now this is going to be a little different and all of them from here on out are going to be a little different. Um, I'm not going through my whole spiel of um, what I owe um, just because frankly I don't want to. Um, Right now, I'm looking at focusing on one debt at a time, knocking it out, and then moving on to the next one. Um, if you are part of uh, my membership on my channel, you'll be able to see my full budget breakdown. Um, that's the exclusive video for my uh, for the paid members. So, um, and it kind of shows how I break everything down. But this, I will start doing a monthly update on what I'm working on right now and the progress I've made each month. So this one is for September 2023. Um, from my last update, which is probably like in April, uh, I was doing pretty good on working my way through a couple things and I had brought my debt total down um, a little ways. I don't know that I was going to reach my goal by the end of the year, which is why I kind of switched gears from the savings and I'm focusing on the debt. But over the summer, um, I switched jobs. So I went from sixth grade math to first grade. And I spent um, a good chunk of money buying things for my classroom because my classroom that I moved into um, had nothing. Um, well, not, it had tables and chairs. And that's pretty much it. Um, there's a few things for math in there there were no books for the kids to read. There was no, it's just very, they had an old reading, like basil, whatever. Um, there's, other than the few pieces of curriculum that they had, um, there was nothing for the kids to use, like hands-on. So, um, and anyway, a lot of stuff. Spent a lot of money I digress anyway but and then I got off track um, I did trade vehicles this summer so I have a car payment now and a couple other things have worked in I am paying for um, all of our health insurance now because my husband was and so that's kind of played into my budget along with the extra car payment that I didn't have before um, so we're just we're working on a few things so I also, and this first debt is a credit card that was paid off, but is now not, but we're gonna knock it out. So the first debt that I am looking at paying off is my belt card. This is a store card, um, so I can only spend it, I can only use it at belt stores. So um, the balance um, nine one, was six hundred and sixty five dollars and fourteen cents um, there was something else I was gonna say and I lost it so it may come back to me in a minute um, anyway so my belt card I bought some clothes for work and I also bought some stuff for um, some clothes for my kids so that's where this came from um, so anyway, so $665. The minimum payment was paid on 9-8. It's on auto draft for just the minimum to come out. So that the minimum payment was $29, which brought that down to $636.14. Um, so my snowball payment that I have out of my check. Oh, I know what I was going to talk about, so I'll take you in a minute. Um, let me write it down so I don't forget it again. Okay. Um, so then I made my snowball payment after that auto payment come out of, and I say this is a snowball, I don't know what it's going to be. Um, I'm in North Carolina and they have not passed the budget yet, so I have not get, gotten my step or my pay increase for this year yet so my check this month was less than what it was when we got out in May because now 
our health insurance is coming out of my check. So I don't know what it's gonna look like next month. But anyway, so for right now, this was $450 I was able to pay, which brought that down to $186.14. And then I'm trying to, with kind of side money that I'm making every week, I'm trying to pay at least, I'm trying to pay $50. I'm, that, that's the goal. So 913, we made an extra payment of $50, which brought it down to 136.14. Um, I just got the bill, I think it came through yesterday on 916. So interest was added. Uh, at 1161 which brought it up to 147.75 but I sold I did a consignment sale this week with my with uh, kids clothes and I'm hoping you can see all this I may need to zoom in a little bit sorry um, so anyway I sold a hundred and sixty some dollars worth of stuff so that I'm going to go ahead and put that in so that will be um, that money I will pay tomorrow I'm filming this on the 17th um, so anyway an extra payment will go on tomorrow so for $50 which will bring that down to $97.75 my goal is to have this paid off by the end of the month now technically the payment will go on the first Monday in October but it will be from money made in September so hopefully the goal is this card will be paid off at the end of September so then October will actually have a new um, focus card that I am focusing on getting paid off so um, what prompted this was and that's what I want to talk about. Um, I've been watching Christy Van and uh, there's another channel I've been watching and I can't remember what the name of it is. Um, I'll look it up while I'm talking. But on Velocity Banking and um, I find it very interesting. Um, Ask me how I budget. That's the other channel and I will uh, link both of them, both of those in the comments. But, um, Ask Me How I Budget talks, she talks a lot about sleeping cards so that you can put more towards your debt. And I make the minimum payments or more on all my cards. Um, but two of them, I'm using one to pay my groceries. So I'm putting my grocery, like whatever I'm gonna spend on groceries, um, the budget, I'm putting it on that card in lieu of making the payment on it. And then on a different card, I'm putting what I'm budgeting for like gas fuel. Um, I'm putting it on that card and in lieu of the minimum payment. Now what I budget for gas is like $400. Um, but since I traded my Suburban for a minivan, um, I'm not spending $200. On gas so if I'm putting $400 on the card and I'm not even putting spending $200 off of it then that's $200 that's going to be coming down on that balance um, on that card every month so that's great I'm also trying to make sure I don't I stay hopefully 50 to hundred dollars under my grocery budget so that I don't have to worry about that interest building on that other card so again that is in my like my budget breakdown video that's not shown kind of on this channel publicly so um anyway to say that the goal is this one will be paid off by the end of september and then in october you will see the next card that i'm working on and i hope to have that kind of posted towards the beginning of the month instead of waiting till the end like I'm doing this month. Um, it's just taken me a little bit to kind of wrap my brain around the whole thing and make sure that that is what I want to do. So 
Here's what it looks like. I'm very, very pleased with the fact that this will get knocked out in a month's time, not paying this forever to get that paid down. So, um, cause you can see $29 and 11, you know, right at $12 of that is interest. So that would only come down, what, $17 a month? Do you know how long it would take to pay that off at $17 a month? 665 divided by 17, it would take me 39 months to pay that off. It would take me over three years to pay that off, which is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So anyway, one month it's gonna get paid off and then we're gonna hit debt number two. And I am, I'm, I'm sort of going by lowest, no, no, no. This was my lowest balance. And so that's what I started with was the lowest balance. But it is also not one of my lowest interest rates. So it was, the interest rate for this one, I think is over 20%. Um, so I'm trying to hit my lowest balances with higher interest rates, anything over 20%. I'm trying to knock those out first and then I'll go from there. So the belt card was first because I knew I could knock it out in a month and get that one out of the way and not have to worry about it. So, that's what we're doing. Um, if you have any questions, comments, thoughts on Velocity Banking or anything else, um, you are more than welcome to leave them in the comments. Please be kind. Um, I don't like the fact that I've added to my debt balance, but I have a plan for getting rid of it. And if everything goes as planned, which it never does, but here's the goal. Uh, it will, um, we'll get it knocked out and I will hopefully, my goal, I'm, my goal is still to pay off 10,000 by the end of this year. And I think with, if you take what I paid off at the beginning, I'm not counting that because it's cheating because I added more over the summer. So from what I have right now, we're gonna try to pay off 10,000 by the end of the year and we'll see how we do. So, um, give this a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you would like to stay updated on my debt payoff journey and um, all the other fun things we have on here. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, bye.